the video for class 12th and the topic which we are dealing in the series is lens law and its example in the previous video we have studied the lens law with the help of a straight wire conductor or a loop okay in which the uh, change in the magnetic field lines causes the induction of the current okay in this example it is given in the ncrt wise key how the ma magnet and coil example can be taken to explain the uh, direction of induced current okay now what will you take you can take a current loop okay right now don't focus in this on this i dash okay now what is happening we have taken a bar magnet uh, whose north pole is here and whose south pole is here okay now what we are doing uh, we are trying to move the bar magnet okay towards the loop now if i will uh, bring the bar magnet towards the loop uh, one thing we should know ki bar magnet should have the magnetic field lines okay it generated by itself now north pole is there so magnetic field lines will come out from the north pole and if i will bring the south pole then the magnetic field lines go inside to the south pole now what i am doing i am bringing the bar magnet near to the loop now what will happen in this loop through this loop okay the magnetic field lines which are coming from the north pole will gonna cross or will gonna enter in this loop so means one thing we should know or uh, one thing we should know ki if suppose our bar magnet will come closer to the loop now what will happen slowly slowly the magnetic field lines or the number of field lines which will pass through the loop will gonna increase now if the magnetic field lines through that loop will gonna increase what will happen the flux will gonna increase and now if flux will gonna increase we all know that emf will gonna induce a current now what is what should be the aim of that current the aim of that current is to decrease the magnetic field lines which are crossing through that area now we already know that ki uh, if we want to decrease the magnetic field lines which are crossing through that area we need to induce a current in a, in a anti clockwise direction so if you can see the loop from the top view so you will see the current is flowing in the loop in a anti clockwise direction so in the induced current will be according to that one shortcut is also there which i made uh, always remember ki if uh, we all know that uh, clock face rule that we have studied in class 12th sorry class 10th that uh, if a current is flowing in a uh, in a clockwise direction then that loop or a circular loop behaves like a south pole of a magnet and if the current is moving in a anti clockwise then the uh, then the loop behaves like a north pole of the magnet and if suppose i am bringing the north if suppose this condition you imagine here if suppose i am bringing the north pole of the magnet near to the loop okay now what will happen they will attract each other but the induced current don't want this attraction so what the facing the loop will uh, uh, itself uh, appear means which kind of face the induced current will form on this loop the induced current will form a north pole so that the magnet's north pole and the loop's north north pole will repel each other this is what the induced current want so always the induced current faces or tries to uh, uh, impose itself that kind of face or that face so that the magnet's motion which is attracting it it should not happen okay if the north pole is coming towards the magnet then it will form a north pole over itself so that the north pole and north pole will repel each other and similarly if south pole will come towards uh, the north pole then it will form a south pole over the loop so that the south pole south pole will not attract each other uh, so another examples which we have uh, taken in this uh, video that suppose the bar magnet uh, north pole is coming over here okay and uh, it is coming towards the loop so we all know that it will form a anti clockwise direction because uh, according to the uh, current loop or according to the clock face rule if we want this uh, repulsion the north pole or north pole repulsion we have to find uh, form a north pole so that the i induced can uh, can uh, repel the magnet it don't want magnet to come close so it will gonna uh, impose a north pole over itself so according to the north pole the direction of the i induced should be anti clockwise so now next thing means if suppose i will bring a south pole then again what will happen the loop will form a south pole over itself and from here if i will acha one question i have made here that is question mark if suppose i am not bringing the north pole uh, towards the loop rather than i am um, taking away this north pole okay now what will happen if i will take away this north pole from the loop okay so uh, the induced current will not form north pole now on its face why because the there is a decrease in the magnetic field lines the north pole is going away if the north pole will go away 
so means the magnetic field lines which is crossing through that area will decrease now induced current don't want decrease so what uh, what will help the induced current wants to increase the uh, magnetic field lines so what will happen this loop will not form north pole now rather than it will form a south pole so that the go, uh, the uh, movement of the north pole which is going away from the loop it will gonna change and now the uh, it can attract the uh, north pole by making a south face so in this way so always keep one thing uh, in the uh, while solving the examples that if a flux is increasing by any reason so induced current will gonna oppose that okay but if our uh, flux is decreasing due to a reason so our induced current will gonna support that so that the decrease should not be there so lenz law works according in on these two concepts only okay i hope you understand about finding the direction of the induced current with the help of lenz law and in the next videos uh, we will uh, study about the motional emf